Arla, first of all, your assessment of the overall performance and what really made the difference for you in that second half? Um, like many times now, uh, managers uh, change their game plan when they come to Anfield or when they play us. That's also what we saw uh, today. Uh, so I've never seen, uh, and I see quite a lot, and my staff as well, if we go into a game like this. And so we've seen a lot of games from Liverpool, but I've never seen Bonifa Boniface, or the way you say it, it's pronounced it, playing from the left. Uh, so they played without a nine. And um, that's why they overloaded the midfield a lot. So it was quite difficult to press them high. And, um, but the good thing was that we, we, we hardly conceded anything. And I think during the first half, if there were chances, they were for us. But second half, we could adjust to the game plan of the first half. We took a bit more risk. We were better with the ball as well. Uh, so um, normally they defend more in a 5-2-3. Now they defended in a 4-4-2 as well. So they, they changed quite a lot. Uh, and we could adjust that at half time. And it proved to be some decision to play Luis Diaz through the middle as well. Rewarded with a hat trick, his first hat trick for Liverpool. What was the key element in deciding to play Lewis as the as the main man through the middle? Yeah, a few things. Uh, I only have four four attackers available at the moment, with the uh, with the injuries of uh, Jogo Jota and Federico Chiesa. Uh, and Darwin didn't play that much in the beginning. Then he started to play a bit more. But yeah, with with this fixture list, you can. You, yeah, it's almost impossible to play them all, especially if you haven't. Start, uh, played that many games before. So that in combination with the fact that I think uh, Tahu is a real good defender and is one of one of the best defenders in um, in Germany, maybe the best defender in Germany, and he likes to maybe to play more against the target man, someone who's there in the middle. And uh, we chose uh, to, to, to play Lucio more from the left or to the midfield and then uh, maybe surprise him afterwards with runs in behind, not only him, but in general. And, um, yeah, if you look at the first goal, that paid out. But uh, what a pass from Curtis Jones. <laughs> Is it something you could do more regularly, playing Lewis in that role? If we have our injuries like we have at the moment, then, then, then this could, could happen, yeah. But um, that also depends on who's available and, and, and how the other team lines up, what the formation is. But uh, last season, uh, I think if both of them played uh, Cody Kakpo and Lucio Diaz, then it was more Cody who played as a nine and Lucio as a as an 11 um, and that's also a possibility but but then we maybe had again this height from Cody against Ta instead of uh, someone who's a bit more versatile and drops into the midfield. This one here. Uh, hello, it's Valentina Peña for W Radio Colombia. Of course, in Colombia, we care about Lucho. And there's this dispute between Gakpo and Lucho, and Lucho replies with a hat trick. Uh, we might be seeing him more often in the starting 11. Or how would you say after this great Lucho performance, first hat trick here in Anfield, and actually first hat trick for Liverpool in Champions League since 2017? Yeah, not only the people in uh, Colombia like and love Lucio, uh, the fans of Liverpool love him a lot as well. I heard uh, many times the fans singing his, uh, his song. And the manager likes him a lot as well. I don't love him, but I like him a lot. <laughs> um, he's played many, many games, but I just said something about Darwin Nunez in, in the Premier League and the Champions League. You have to play so many games at the highest level, and it's not always possible for every player to play every game, uh, especially in certain positions. So if you're a centre-back, Normally, you run not as much as a left winger or a fullback or a midfielder, and especially our wingers. But because you always you all look at the goals Lucio scored and the goals Cody scored, but I also look at the fact how hard they track back, how much they have to defend, and um, I ask a lot from them. So that's why sometimes we have to rotate them. But Lucio, for me, is a starter, and I said this three days ago about Cody as well. He's for me a starter uh, also. James. Just Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, Arne. Um, you're making this look pretty easy. Does it feel that way? No, no, no not at all. Uh, therefore, uh, I think um, then you only look at the results, but uh, Brighton last Saturday was, um, was a difficult one uh, where we were 1-0 behind. We had to fight really hard, and I think that's also what you saw today. We have to work really hard, play with incredible high intensity, 
uh, to win our games, and that has a lot to do with teams. Uh, I heard uh, by Leverkusen saying this as well. Uh, they they think, and I, I think I have to agree with them, <laughs> that Anfield is the is the best place to play in, one of the one of the nicest stadiums to play in, and against a very good team. So every team that plays against us is on the top of their uh, game. And if you want to win that, you always have to be consistent in your intensity. And that's not always easy, uh, but that is what's needed. And if we can keep producing that, then it's still not easy. But then we get our wins in, and that is uh, what we want. Sam? Uh, it's actually a record you've set. No new Premier League manager has ever won 14 out of 16 in all competitions. So uh, you're top of the Premier League, you're top of the, you're top of the Champions League as well. Is that... Is that pressure or is that something that that you welcome? I think if you work at any club in and around the world, there's always pressure. So for some clubs or for some men, there's pressure not to go down. For some, they have to win a lot. So in our position, there's always pressure. And this is the pressure we give ourselves as well. Because if you work at Liverpool or if you play at Liverpool as, as, as a player or as a manager, uh, you know... Uh, the manager is probably going to come next. Uh, and so many other great players have set the standard so high over here that uh, that always feels as a bit of pressure. But we also embrace this because that's also what we want. We want to be there where we are now. We want to compete for everything. And uh, therefore, you have to accept that if you work here or play here, that there's pressure. But the other side is that if you work or play here, you can enjoy incredible uh, evenings uh, and enjoy it uh, because today the atmosphere I said last Saturday phew, this was impressive I think this was even more impressive today there you go. Hi Arne uh, you mentioned consistency of intensity there yet there seems to be so many games where Liverpool suddenly go from controlled to go several gears is that planned or is it something actually you would like to see more of the later stages in games no I would love to see this from the start uh, but the other team then normally has, because if the game starts, everybody is still very fit. And, uh, uh, and there's a lot of intensity from both sides. And what I like till now, that we are able to keep producing this energy and even go a gear higher. And that in some situations uh, led to the fact that the, the teams we face, not all of them, but a few of them, had some difficulties with that intensity. But preferably we start like this from the start. But like I said, you have to give credits to the opponents we play, Brighton had a very good game plan uh, on Saturday. Uh, Xabi Alonso, we all know this from him, had a very good game plan today as well, which made it difficult for us in the first half. But even if it's difficult for us, and not difficult in terms of them getting a lot of chances, but difficult and they have a bit more ball possession than what we would like, we still don't concede a lot. And that has a lot to do with, uh, with the work rate the players put in. I'm here. Hi Arnie, uh, Curtis Jones uh, picked up the assist for the first goal. He's been a very key player for you in terms of goals and assists. What kind of midfielder would you say is number 10, number 8, number 6? And what would you put behind him seemingly being more attacking this season and seems to be getting in amongst the goals and assists more? Yeah, I think many of them have a lot of goals and assists. So, um, But... Um I still learn uh, uh, on a daily basis um, uh, about every player, but Curtis was one of them. When I started off, I thought he was... I first game I played him as a six, uh, which you didn't see because it was behind closed doors. Um, but that, that, was, that wasn't his best game in general from us, but for him as well. I think he can play, and that's one of his qualities. I can, at this moment, he can play in every position because uh, he just um, he's in a very good place at the moment, so comfortable on the ball. So you can trust him closer to your defence. But like we saw against Chelsea and I saw today as well, he's also able to penetrate inside the 18-yard box and give and giving the last pass. So um, he's um, he's really made a step up after preseason, and that's also why he gets his chances now. Because if players do well, and I have quite a lot of them at the moment, uh, they will get their chances. Last one over over here. Sorry. Hi Arne, congrats for the win. 
Um, I also heard your song at the end of the game. What does it mean to you personally that you have had such a successful start here at Anfield and that people appreciate you a lot? <coughs> no, it's always better for a manager that this happens than uh, when they start to boo. Um, so um, it's special. I think it was um, it was special from the start, and, and therefore I think I have to thank Jurgen because he was the one that came up with the song. Uh, 